So we're in the midst in F1 of silly season at the moment. And, you know, we've got Oscar Piastri today. You know, it's either today or tomorrow. He's going to find out, you know, where he's permitted to race next year with regards to his contract with either Alpine or McLaren. Um, what's being said amongst the F2 and F3 drivers in the paddock? What, what are you making of this, you know, seemingly to us uh, in the media, this quite brash, brazen approach to getting an F1 seat for next year? Uh, I, yeah, I don't know how much I, I should I should say, but actually, tell us, my tell us it all. Say it all. Everything. Say it all. <laughs> Track limits well, are the, not the a problem. Is, the thing is, my my physio this year is actually Oscar's full time physio. So, yeah. um, I, I am I know uh, quite a bit of about it. Um, you know, from from my perspective and from what's public knowledge, I think it's actually more of Alpine's fault um, that they were playing a little bit with Oscar. And Fernando, they didn't give Oscar, I think, the, what they had promised him, I guess. And, you know, any driver in his uh, position would have would have done what he did. That's that's what I think from what I know. Um, but, of course, you know, the sport loves drama. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't know. I think the hearing was this morning. I don't know what the result was from that. But uh, I, I think he will be racing at McLaren next year. Um, and I hope so for him because he deserves a, an F1 seed. I think that's pretty much the, the talk in, in F2 and F3. We all know how talented he is. He proved that in, in the junior category. So uh, it, it was already a shame that he didn't get a seat immediately last year. So at least now he'll get his chance.